In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a rocket out of a single cylinder. So the first thing we're going to do is delete the cube in the center of our screen. We select it, we hit the X on our keyboard, and we say, OK, let's delete it. Next, I'm going to go and add, using the Add button top left, a mesh, which is a cylinder. This is quite a complex cylinder with many, many sides. I want to just make it simpler with only 20 sides. When I added the cylinder, a little menu appeared in the bottom left hand corner called Add Cylinder. If I click on that, it allows me to change the number of sides, here defined as vertices, down to 20, which is more sensible for what we're trying to do. And as you can see, we now have 20 sides rather than 32. So I'm going to take the cylinder and I'm going to change it to look like a rocket. The first thing we're going to do is going to add the rocket fins at the bottom. These are the things that stabilize a rocket when it's flying. I want to have fins coming out in four directions. So I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to make sure that I select just four of the edges. So go to edge select mode up here, four of the edges along the bottom. If I want to select multiple edges at the same time, I hold down the shift key and I can select those edges together like so. And hopefully those edges are just about in the right place. I think that one there needs to change very slightly. Let's try that again. There we go. So these four edges are going to become the fins of our rocket. And to move them out in these directions, what I can do is I can press S on my keyboard. And if I press S, it pulls them out in those directions and I have something that resembles the base of a rocket. Now, if I want my rocket to rest on these fins, what I can do is as I've got these edges selected, I can press G to grab and then Z, which fixes the movement along up and down. So I can move it down very slightly. I've now got a rocket which can kind of sit on the bottom of the fins. But it's quite a stubby rocket. We need to have a top to the rocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to face select. I'm going to select the top of the rocket and I'm going to extrude or add another part to the top of it. So I press E and it adds another section to my rocket and again, E adds another section. And if I scale down the top of my rocket, I have something that looks like the cone. And you might think that's still a bit stubby, so let's try and make the cone a bit sharper, a bit more pointed. So what I can do is I can select the very top, I can press G and Z, and it makes sure that it goes right up, up and down along the Z axis, and I have something that looks a little bit more like a rocket.